Let's get this party started for 30 laps. It's time to get down and dirty with the Outlaws at Cedar Lake. It's a quick one. Here we go. 35th running of the USA Nationals. The Thursday night portion comes to green off turn four. Jonathan Davenport will jump from the pole to the race lead. Brent Larson going to look to the inside of Mike Marler. That's the Roro spot on the back straight away. Obviously pretty early, but you got to go and you got to go quickly. Lap number one leader will be JD, but not by much at 49. Yeah, and a very good point, Chris. There is no way you sit back here and ride for any amount of laps, because if you do, you'll be at the tail. So Mike Marler is working on Gundinger. Oh, Larson give a little bit of an elbow to Davenport. I don't think he liked it. That opened up the door for Marler, but there it is. Brent Larson is solid. Brent's got a really good race car tonight. If you can just hang right in there, you never know. Marler now to the outside of Larson. Brent Larson running a solid second here in the B1. Jonathan Davenport last time by 1.3 seconds your lead, but here comes Marler around the outside for the runner-up spot. So Mike Marler's going to keep it wound up on the outside. It's going to pay off for him. He'll go to the number two spot. Larson will now fall back to third. Gundaker with the best run of his weekend right here. And it may be the best run with the Outlaws if he stays there. You don't have to get it all in one shot here in a couple of laps. You can pick away at the 49. He's eventually going to be in lap traffic if we stay green. Yeah, and they're coming up on lap traffic here in just a couple of laps here. Boom breaks. Oh, and your race leader's off the pace. Jonathan Davenport broke leading the show here in 49. Davenport shut that thing down, heading into turn number one. Caution waves with 10 wow. scored for your leader, Jonathan wow. Davenport. That rarely happens wow. to that team. Here we go, 10 scored, 20 to go for Mike Marler. We're back to green. So we are a third of the way through already, and Gundaker just takes second away from Larson. Gundaker going for the lead, three wide for the wow. lead. There's Brent Larson for the needle. Three wide down the back stretch. Brent Larson wants this just as bad as Gundaker or Marler. They are smelling blood in the water. Here comes Larson at the line. Mike Marler, Larson will wow. trail him by 22 thousandths. Marler was sideways into one and into three that allowed Brent to get down to the inside of him, point zero two. Two as they came by the start finish line last time by Marler goes right back to the race lead though in 157. Turbo trying to get a top five here. The 18 has been very solid. Chase said in his interview he's always good here and caution is out for turn number three. As Garrett Smith, yeah. I believe, is sitting over there, and it yep. is the 10 of Garrett Smith. So here we go. Out of four. C4 restart zone. Green flag in the air. We are back underway. Brent Larson going side by side with Gordy Gunnaker for second. Mike Marler showing away, Chris. Halfway through, halfway to go. 15 in 15 running. Good drive on the start for Marler. Mike Marler from the outside of turn number two launched to the race lead. He'll continue to show the way. That best battle on the racetrack is for second. And Brent Larson's trying to hold off Gordy Gundaker. Gordy Gundaker will dig way down low. And here comes Chase Young Hands. He'll take the number three spot away from Gordy Gundaker. And all the while, Mike Marler is losing the field. Yep. He's walking the dog right now. Differential at lap 19 is 2.4 seconds. We've got less than 10 to go, and Mike Marler has not been challenged. 2.443 seconds is advantage. Last time by, but the caution is out, and it is for Strickler. We yep. saw smoke a lap before for the high side tickler in eight. And he will wheel it off the track. Look like all four tires were up, so Strickler has problems as well. So it's still not over. Seafoam restart zone, eight laps to go. Oh, well, look at him go three wide. And Gundaker will take second away from Larson for the moment, but Larson center group. Brent Larson is gonna lose second to Gundaker. Here comes Shepard in fourth. Here comes Tanner English all of a sudden. But it's still all Mike Marler. Great race behind him. Gundaker to second. Larson to third. Keep your eye on that battle between the 81 and the one as well. Brent Larson trying to roll back around the outside of Gordy here. Side by side with the runner up spot here again. Mike Marler, no challenging him right now. Larson trying to get back to that runner up spot off turn number four. They're side by side for second. He got the high side momentum. It got him the runner up spot. We'll get five to go this time. Oh, Gundaker washed up the bank. That allowed Larson to go by it. Here comes both Shepard and English. I think Gundaker is going to get ganged up on. Down the back straight away. Tanner English going to roll out of that oh, third spot. Goes around in turn Trouble. number two. 360 by Clanton. He collects the 44. More cars are involved. Shay Clanton got it straightened out. And then there was Chris Madden. So there's Ricky Weiss. There's Boom Briggs. Ryan Gustin involved. Green is out. Marler leads. Four laps to go. 
Brandon Ringo is going to work right to the inside. A little body contact there. Shepard's going to try to get both of them. Brandon Shepard going to roll out of the outside of the 11. He'll take fourth. Pulls up alongside Tanner English for the third spot. He will come by the line with three to go. Mike Marler's showing the way. Second is Brett Larson. Third is Tanner English. White flag is out. It's up Barracks. One to go for the Winfield Warrior, Mike Marler. He'll head down the back stretch for the final time. Set it up in turn number three for the third time this year in the state of Wisconsin. The 11th time in his career, the Winfield Warrior wins a World of Outlaws case late model feature. Second will go to Brett Larson in his best run of the year. Tanner English comes on third. Fourth is Brandon Shepard. Dennis Erd Jr. comes home in position number five. As he climbs out, the Winfield Warrior, Mike Marler, keeps the streak alive in Wisconsin. Yeah, us race cars, we're pretty picky, so it's hard to make us happy. But uh, but no, it was the car was pretty good right there. You know, Brent, man, how about Brent? He was so good here. At his, we're on his home turf, and he's uh, he's eating the track pretty good tonight. But yeah, the car was great right there. It, it was good in the heat and good right there. And uh, uh, you know, Jonathan there, I, I don't know what happened. I know I started catching a little bit, and I was, I was hoping I was faster, but he might have just been breaking. Who knows? Uh, you know, it'll be, uh, I think, it'll, you know, this track gives you everything. They start off, it's really fast, and it usually ends uh, this slick or slicker. So uh, it'll be a racy. They always have an awesome racetrack here, and we love coming up here. It's why we come this far, you know, we love coming to good racetracks, and uh, it's pretty cool to be up here. Uh, can I, I got to give a shout out to my mom and dad. My dad's right there, David. Dad! Hey! Come here. So he uh, he taught me everything I know, and uh, he's been, he's the guy that's been wearing everybody out in them hobby stocks down home. So uh, him and my mom come up and and uh, su give me a surprise visit uh, for the weekend. I was happy to see him. We've been gone for four or five weeks now, and uh, got the rest of my family with me there, Josh and Donk. But uh, my dad come up, my mom and Stacy. Uh, she had to go back home for work. I wish she was here. But like I say, thanks to all my sponsors. All you guys know who you are: uh, Masila Valley Trucking, uh, Mark Dotson. Uh, uh, Craig Lindsay's here with us, him and Drew. Uh, uh, heck, we got um, Pan Am, Rockets, Derek Jones, uh, somebody I, can, I can't think of, all. Bill Stein, Swift, uh, VP. Uh, uh, the old Blue Horn chassis here is doing good tonight. Does it make it a little bit sweeter when you make the visit and now we're in victory lane so you get to celebrate tonight? Yeah, I'm uh, tickled to see him up here doing so good. He always does. He's on a hot streak and, and we're all behind him. For live coverage of every World of Outlaws event and for extended on-demand race content, visit DirtVision.com. For full race results, features, and series news, visit WorldOfOutlaws.com.